since 1989, I've collected yo-yos. Reason being, in 89, there was a massive boom. All came about because of the Russell Spinner's Coke yo-yos. They did Coke, they did Fanta, they did Sprite, and they spun out into all sorts of ones. This one here, that's an original pre-Coke Russell Spinner. So the design was already there, they just adopted it. And it was huge, they had competitions, spinner cup, loads of tricks you had to learn, they had little booklets that come with them. And the way you'd get the Coke yo-yos was the, uh, the old school ring pulls, which some of you won't know about, it would actually pull them off and they'd have a little picture underneath of a yo-yo and that's what you'd win. This is when you're opening your drink. You yeah. open your drink and like now it just opens normally. But back then you'd open it and you'd have this sort it's of thing left. It's razor sharp. Razor pull. <laughs> yeah. You could cut anybody with that. And that's it was... why they changed yeah. it. So I've always bought yo-yos. So I'll get lots of different types of ones. But my very favourite one is this. And this is a rare yo-yo now from World Industries, which was a skateboard brand, very big. You remember yeah, World, yeah, Industries? World Industries? Yeah, Yeah. Because you're into all BMXs and everything yeah, back yeah, then, weren't you? Yeah. And it's great. It's got a. It's an actual skateboard wheel. It's got a skateboard bearing in it, and it. It's old now, so it doesn't spin like it used to. But you used to be able Same. to do everything. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Can't spin like you used to. Nope. But look at it. It's got the little flame boy. That was the mascot, and I just love it. Yo-yos, and I like, and I still enjoy yo-yo. Like every yo-yo I buy. I trial it, I use it. Got an admission. Can't yo-yo, can you? I can't yo-yo. I'll have to teach you. I've never ever been able to yo-yo. Oh wow. It's not hard. I know, but <laughs> you know, I can only just tie my own shoes, girl. It's not like <laughs> we'll get him on that later. What tie my shoes or that? <laughs> Bit of both. Oh, look at that. <laughs> not lessons again. <laughs> so that's what I've got. Yo-yos. A classic toy. And I knew they're coming. I, I particularly like that. I can see why that one's your favourite. Yeah. I particularly like that. It's so skate, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. The artwork on it, everything. It just they're screams. so pricey now. Yeah? They're like over 100 quid now. Whoa, yeah, yeah, really? Because yeah. there weren't many of them about. You could only buy them in the skate shops. That's really cool. Mm. That's really cool. That's a bit of history, that. Yeah. Just, you know, it's that time when skating and oh, yeah. that alternative lifestyle, you know, sort of like I was. What was this, 89? It would be. So like films no, like... No, no, it'd be a bit older than that. A bit older than that? Yeah. Okay, because like, things like Gleam in the Cube came out, was it like yeah, 93, yeah. something like that? Somewhere 92? around there, yeah. Really cool. Oh, I have loved that film, actually. What <laughs> film I have, actually, what? It's been a film <laughs> thing. Gleam in the Cube with Christian Slater. In fact, I remember we had a guy that came round to cut mm. my hair. Yeah. We had a man that came to the house. Okay. And he had a poo he had a, like a real perm, <laughs> like a proper perm. <laughs> and a moustache. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> and he came round to cut my hair. And I remember pausing the film, mm. and it was Tony Hawk. Oh yeah. Because Tony Hawk had this big fringe down yeah. here. Tony Hawk, legendary skater, had this big fringe down here. And he was cut like that, and he had a side pot, and sort of like, and I went, I want that, I want that. And then, so he cut my hair <laughs> as close as he could, much to my mum's disgust, because yeah, I meant I got yeah. this big, long bit of, yeah. I can imagine you like that, actually. Yeah. Imagine me with hair. Yeah. Yeah. Only just. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of a stretch. No, cool. I've, I know exactly what you And it is in. one of the most iconic toys as yeah. well, yo-yos. I mean, the first yo-yo was invented, what, was like 18, like Some, bobbins. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like hundreds of years yeah. old. Had we done our research, we'd have been able to tell yeah, people well, that. Well, you know, we know there's <laughs> like bobbins and stuff like yeah. that, and yo-yos and stuff. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's properly old. But this toy, I think, is probably the oldest toy we're going to have in our, either of our collections. Okay. In my opinion. I mean, I never know with yeah. you. You might drag something out. But this toy, my favourite animal is a tapir. I love tapirs. They're amazing. They're just so cool. And I, I've got one in my collection. And this is it. <sighs> yeah, that is nice. A little Malayan tapir. Yeah. He's lovely. He or, or, or she. Let's go she. Um, <laughs> made from by Britons, the toy company. Made of lead. Oh, so don't lick it. Don't lick it. <laughs> that is definitely toxic. Yeah. And it is, I don't know, a lovely thing. Made from 1931 to 1959. Mm. So it can't be any, any newer than 1959, I don't think. So made somewhere from 1931 to 1959. I personally think this is more out of the, out of the 50s sort of era. I don't know though, you never know. It could be it could be really old, like 1931. Which let's face it, it's getting on a bit now. 
looks like 90 years old if he's that old. But at the very least he's in his sort of in his 70s, which is cool. So I think it's the oldest toy in our collection. Could be, could be. And I rather like tapirs. I just love. I think mean, as an animal, they're amazing. It is a strange looking animal. I know why you like it. Yeah, yeah. it's like somebody went, "Well, we'll just paint the back off white." <laughs> but they do they're all tapirs, but all sorts of different colours. It's just the Malayan one that people think of when they think of a tapir. Yeah. It's, it's that one they think of. But and it's also the one that I like the most. And when they're little, they're all like they're like mottled and cute yeah. and they're just amazing. When I went to a, a zoo, and not a zoo, it's like a safari park, mm. and we stopped there the night. We have this sort of treehouse thing. And the next, we got a golf cart to go around. It was a, there was a mess up basically. These things are very expensive to come, but because we were meant to stop in this tent, they double booked it. So we got upgraded for free. And with it, you get a golf buggy to go around the thing at night. So it, it's amazing hearing the noises and everything like that at night. But the tapirs are quite active at night. So we drove past in the golf buggy after a few beers. <laughs> and, uh, and the tapirs were really. 14 years were, old. <laughs> <laughs> they were right there. They were right there. They were right there. And they're huge, huge, absolutely amazing, amazing animals. And I, and I just sort of fell in love and I just decided that tapirs are definitely my thing. And that was a few years ago. And uh, every time I find a tapir now, so I've got tapir t shirts, I've mm. got tapir this. In fact, for a short time, I actually adopted a tapir <laughs> by one of them scams where you oh, fill in no. the thing online. <laughs> and when the, when the tapir starts writing back and you, you sort of think, <laughs> It's probably not right. This it's, this tape there's, is probably, there's probably not, been involved. not many people got scammed by uh, a doctor tape. <laughs> <laughs> I know <laughs> it's true, but at the same time, I yeah. But I love tapirs, and that bad experience of getting ripped off by a tapir has not put me off. Yeah, so Steve the tapir, if you're out there, I know you're not real. <laughs>